in our multibody systems, we did not consider any relationship between the joint coordinates Q. In other words, these coordinates were independent of each other. However, most applications require to satisfy relationship between these coordinates, such as, for instance, a nonlinear relation between, let's say, Q1 and Q2 and involving sine and cosine functions. This kind of relationship is called an algebraic constraint. Let's, for instance, imagine two parallel windshield whippers characterized by the angle Q1 and Q2 respectively. They must obey the following obvious constraint. which is, of course, valuable for any time. From an equational point of view, all these algebraic constraints applied on the system, whatever the origin, will be gathered into a single column vector, HA, that will be written in an implicit form, like this. Such systems are denoted as constrained multibody systems. They require a specific treatment, and this will be the subject of this module. As a first practical example, let's take a pizza wheel and a plate, and let's assume that you cut the pizza along a straight line without any slip between the roller and the plate. In this case, the forward motion of the roller is perfectly synchronized with the rotational motion, let's say Q2, all along the cutting process leading to the following algebraic constraints. Which is of course valuable for any time. In this constraint, R represents the radius of the roller. As a second practical example, let's consider an helicoidal joint, as one can find in a screw nut pair. In this system, the nut is both translating and rotating on the screw. But both motions are, of course, synchronized via the thread. In a multibody approach, let us denote the translation of the nut by Q1 and the rotation of the nut by Q2. And this will lead to an algebraic constraint that reads Q1 is equal to alpha over 2 pi Q2. In this relationship, alpha denotes the lead, that is, the distance traveled by the nut on the, on the screw for one revolution. As a last example, let us consider a serial robot in which the dynamics of the rotors of its actuators must be captured during the 3 day motion. Let's, for instance, consider the rotor mounted on the rotating mast, for which the rotation angle is denoted as theta r. It is responsible for the rotation theta a of the first arm of the robot through a gear of which the transmission ratio equals alpha. In the multibody representation of this robot, the rotor bearing are mounted on the mast, but their rotation 
axes do not necessarily coincide with the rotation of the arm. This simple constraint perfectly satisfies the previous dynamic requirements.